Okay, opening act of episode 11, I think. Um, I'm just leaving camp and uh, we were too busy talking and stuff, so I didn't get to film this morning, sorry. But the thing with the hammock and the shelter turned out to be okay, but it's really kind of rude. It like takes up two or three sleeping spaces because nobody wants to sleep underneath somebody else <coughs> who's hanging from a string. Um, but whatever. It's done. And I am now headed to Deep Gap where we did the trail magic and we met the truckers. Um, and that's where we'll meet with Dan who I'm thinking we will, will take me to Franklin and we are going to find some internet so that I can upload this video and all the others to you, YouTube so that I can make this video longer. <laughs> um, I don't have very much time left on my phone. 8 minutes and 31 seconds to be exact at the moment. Um, so until I clear my phone, I can't take a lot of video. Gotta go. I do want to say that yesterday I got really emotional. I was like feeling done and uh, I finally at one point I just sat down and after what seemed like an eternity finally Kyle, now known as Tracker, uh, came up and I was like, talk me out of quitting. I'm feeling horrible. He's like, get your ass up. <laughs> get moving. So, that's what I did, and uh, I felt much better after I got moving, but it gets emotional out here. You're doing this lot of repetition, <clears throat> a lot of repetition for a while, and when you're by yourself and nobody to distract you, that can get to you, so you got to be ready for that. <sighs> I don't know what I'm walking up on here. Blue blaze, top one to the right means... That the turn right for this, but what is it? There seems to be like a registry box here. White oak stamp. Oh, well, I don't know if it opens. Oh yeah, there's a box for people to write in. Awesome. Do you believe I'm walking up on Chunky Girl Trail? <sighs> Not sure where it goes, but what does that say? Jason, Jason Bus Russ. If this isn't it, oh yeah, could be that. I don't know. But look how pretty. Making really good time today. I'm about a mile from the parking lot where I'm meeting Dan, and it's like quarter after nine in the morning. And then when we get back, we only have a little, bit, little over a mile to hike back up. So I should be about at the top of this mountain. So this might be a view coming around. Hard to say because there's so much overgrowth on this goofy trail that these get stolen from you, but they're definitely out there. Oh, man. Yeah, there it is. Big trees for sure, but still very pretty. Whew. A bit of a rock scramble on the way down to Deep Gap. This is a little bit of fun. Well, that's straight down and a little bit of a rock scramble. Whew. Scary. Got everything out behind the car. Trying to figure out what I can make into five days worth of food in this bear canister. Hmm. We went to Gooder Grove Hostel and I got laundry done. So I'm wearing different clothes right now. 
I uh, got um, some shower done and I got all my up stuff uploaded so that I had the ability to make some more videos. Uh, Dan and Lily, Maven and Scout, are prepping to come up to a standing Indian shelter for the night and then they're going to, I don't know, come back down maybe in the morning or maybe hike for a little bit and then come back down. Um, so we're back at Deep Gap. That's where I came from this morning. And over here is where we're going to. Um, let me recall there's a sign up here saying that there's people, there's a bear taking food from the shelter we're going to. So we need to make sure that we're being careful about that. Um, so yeah. Getting ready to climb a part of a mountain, but not a whole one. We got one mile to go into tenting, and then we'll be done for the day. And check out the shelter. I'll uh, I'll do a tour of Gooder Grove Hostel for you guys on Tuesday because I'm gonna stay there on Tuesday. <laughs> Are we standing Indian shelter? Is that right? No. Something like that. This guy's number one. <laughs> and the privy of the day at Standing Indian Mountain or something, Standing Indian Shelter is down. Down, down. Yesterday's privy was up, up, up. This one is down, down, down. Looks pretty clean so far. Nice little fern path to go down to get to it. It's not even bothering with the door. You can see right into it. But they do have wood chips so that you can compost. I'm told that if you took the wrong path off to the left, there's just a big pile of poop where, because they moved this off of the poop over there to allow that poop to wash away or whatever they're doing with it. I don't know. Compost. And... This is the new one. So there you go. Ooh, interesting. It's got double potties for double the fun. But one of them seems to be locked down. So it's like the escape room. In order to use it, you have to figure out the code. I can hear the bees already. I lied. There's a door. Huh. Look at that. So for my good night walk, uh, sum up of today, we had a really great, um, great day. The walk was amazing. Here, I'm going to turn this around. Hold on. The walk was amazing. Um, like the hike, it was not too bad. There was, uh, I don't know, maybe a mile, a little over a mile of it that was pretty darn rocky and straight down, but it wasn't bad. The, um the town run we went to that hostel which i will show you more of on tuesday um so i got to chill out then we climbed a mountain to get to the shelter where a family was waiting we brought beer we brought pot roast and it was sort of like just thanksgiving or something it was so cool i've been sitting here talking about everything under the sun uh tracker was teaching us how to make how to make different kinds of knots. He taught Poplar how to light a lighter. She's never done that before. Can you believe that? Um, Dan and Lily are up here. And uh, just just really good stuff. Dan says he's going to carry my pack up the mountain and leave his stuff at the shelter here so that he can slack me up to the top of the mountain tomorrow. I'm like, okay, woo! Um, but we'll see. I'll probably, I may, I may just carry my own stuff. Anyway, it's been a really fantastic day. I think we're episode 11 maybe today. Um, and uh, the next two days should be pretty gentle. And then we're going to have an off night in Franklin where we uh, go to the Lazy Hiker again and hang out with some of the people that we've been spending time with on the trail. So I'm looking forward to seeing who shows up, if, if anybody shows up, and hanging out there Tuesday night. Uh, till then, a couple of 
theoretically relatively mellow hikes. Tomorrow morning is going to be tough. And then after that, it should mellow out a little. Uh, hopefully, at least compared to tomorrow morning. Um, and then the next day should be a really nice steady hike. We might have to hike a little longer, but it, it should be a nice steady hike that day. Might be able to get some more miles in a little more easily, hopefully. We'll see. So anyway, we are at uh, Standing Indian Mountain and signing off till tomorrow.